Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. Just I'll be going through the introduction of this high level data link layer guys because I am not so good at this and I am not so clear with the concept of this guys. Okay, so a high level data link protocol HDLC developed by ISO and HDLC is a bit oriented data link protocol and it is designed to safety many many of the data control equipment to safeguard many of the equipment we'll be using this so ddl protocol has three stations basically primary secondary and combined okay okay so now let us go through those things guys after that we will be going through the modes and after that we'll be going through the frame structures okay so the first type will be the normal response mode so in these three the two most important modes are normal response and asynchronous guys these two are really important so we'll be going through the introduction and we'll be going through in-depth discussion don't worry so this mode is suitable for point to point as well as point to multi-point configuration so this we can use for both and asynchronous asynchronous mode is used to communication between the primary and secondary stations whereas asynchronous balance this is response and this is balanced mode so this mode is applicable to point to point and collection and communication between the combination of stations fine so in this we'll be discussing about these two in depth guys don't worry with examples so that you'll be having a small idea okay so normal response mode so normal response mode is nothing but here we will be having one station can send only one command so multiple stations can respond for multiple commands so this is nothing but point to point and multi point we can say so it in simple words we can say that point to point is nothing but nrm that is nothing but normal response mode so here we will be having one station, it will be sending the command. This will be sending the response. So in that way, fine. Okay. So if there are multiple stations, one will, will be sending the command, the both will be sending the responses. Fine. Okay. So asynchronous balance mode. Asynchronous balance mode means only point to point. This is compulsory. So each station can has a function of primary and secondary. So they can send the data or they can receive the data. So they will send the command or they will respond to the command or they will command send to the command or receive the command. Fine. Station one and station two. So the structure of HDLC will be in this format guys. There are totally three types I think. So three types or four. Yeah, three types. So three types guys. So the first one is informative. So please understand the format will be the same guys. At the end and the, at the start we'll be having flag, address, control, user information, FCFS, FCS. Okay, we'll be discussing about all the parts. Don't worry. So in the next type, supervisor. Supervisor will be just removing the user information guys. So supervisor, what is the need for supervisor to observe the users? So that is the reason why we'll be removing that. Fine. So, unmuted you. Unmuted you, instead of you supervisor, you will be writing the managing information. That's it. So, here the flag indicates that to identify the beginning and ending of the frame, flag means address means it contains the secondary address, control means it controls the error and flow control, information means it stores the data or manage information, and FCFS means FCS, FCF, FCS guys. So, frame check sequence error detection field so i hope everyone got a clear idea on this at least a bit of idea because i am not so clear with the topic i have just gone through the theory guys so in the next tutorial we will be going through the important topics of this chapter so let us meet in the next tutorial thank you thanks for watching